Hello there, my name is Alex Bame, and we're continuing on our video series where we dive into the Builder All platform tools so we can show you exactly how each tool works and how you can implement that in your business. For this video, we're going to look into the site builder. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go to Builders, drag and drop site builder, and we're going to create a new website. And let's go ahead and type in Express, which will bring up the uh, one page templates that we have available. So let's go ahead and pick this one right here. Click edit. And once you open up the uh, site builder editor, you'll see that all the elements come with this template. And it's very, very simple for you to move things around and change things right away. OK, for instance, right here, you've got the logo. This is just an image. So you can just click and drag if you want, or you can just uh, right click and change the image so you can upload your own logo like right here so I've got one logo here so you would select that confirm and then you can change resize it however you want if you want to move uh, and locate it someplace else on the page okay so each of these elements for instance the text if I double click I can just go ahead and start typing whatever I want okay and you can change the color and such uh, if you want to preview, you just go ahead and click the little monitor right there, and then you have a live view of the site. So you can see the changes right away. All right, so at the very top here, you also have the ability to work on the uh, responsiveness of the site. So for instance, you click on the iPad, and then if you see anything out of place, uh, you can just move it around. So if, if this is not uh, just fitting right, I can just move it around like that. And then it once I... Um, I adjust everything on my site so it looks right on the iPad or um, uh, a tablet then I can just go ahead and save it okay so same thing here I can just go ahead and preview and then you have a live view of the website so I can go back to the editor right there if you want to undo anything that you you've done you can just go ahead and click here and then uh, all the changes that you made can be undone one by one okay so let's go ahead and adjust it again if you want to bring on the ruler just click on the ruler if you want to bring the guides then just click on on the ruler and then you can just have the guide available for you okay the other thing that I want to show you is uh, let's go back to the desktop view is the uh, left hand side right here here's where you have all the tools and the the different applications for you to use on your website so the first thing you have is the pages right so uh, first you're working with layouts so you can have many layouts if you would like so you can change the whole look and feel of your site but if you want to work uh, with this particular layout all you have to do is just click here and then go into the layout and here you only have one page if you want to add more pages it's very easy just click at the bottom here and you can select one of the templates we have available so nothing here um, if you don't want to start from scratch you don't need to we've got a pl plenty of templates that you can choose from to work with alright so if you if you want to duplicate this one all you have to do is just go in there uh, and then just go ahead and click the duplicate um, button right here at the top all right uh, the other things you have you, you have the ability to change the font and size throughout your whole site and here's where you would set up the font for the h1 and the sizes and how you want it to look like for instance the color and everything else this would change anywhere you have h1 h2 h3 you know and so on throughout the whole site so all you have to do is just come here and it would change throughout the whole site all right, the next thing you have is uh, this plus little icon right here. It brings up all the different types of tools. So as you can see, you've got the pop-up. Uh, for instance, if I click the view preview right here, I can just go ahead and start uh, working with my pop-up and then configure uh, and start one from scratch now we're not going to cover each and every element right here because it would take a long time for this video but I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it is for you to change things up okay so that would be the pop-up you can add text you can select just about any text you would like for instance uh, it's just giving me an, um, a message saying hey you already have an h1 do you want to <laughs> add another h1 because it's looking out for our best interest in terms of SEO all right so just uh, just to demonstrate how simple it is I can just start typing right here select the whole thing and then bold and I, if I want to change the color just make it white and see that's how you change things up okay and you can move anywhere on the site if you want to uh, delete then just go ahead and delete 
All right, let's go back here. So you've got banners, you've got boxes, you've got buttons. For instance, if I click on the buttons, I can just go ahead and add buttons. And as you can see, I can drag anywhere I want on the page. And then if I right click, I can work on the action, for instance. And right now, there's no action, meaning if you click on the button, nothing's going to happen. But if you want to, you can just, let's say, web address, click here, and then you type in the uh, URL that you want people to be directed to once they click the button okay so let's go ahead and exit out of that and just go ahead and delete it and within this navigation this, these preset um, uh, buttons you can also uh, come to this little tab right here you have personalized you have icons that you can choose from you have login buttons so you've got two different types of buttons for your membership area and you have pre-made call to action buttons right here so you can just click anywhere you want and begin uh, customize your buttons to look just the way you want it to look all right let's go back there all right so you've got images uh, the same thing you've got different types of images that you can add with different effects so if I pick this one right here image hover I click and right click and let's say change image and let's add this one right here uh, you can resize it let's go ahead and put it right here and preview when I hover over, then you've got that little effect, okay? Let's go ahead, right click, delete it, and go back to the other options. So you've got images, you have galleries, all these different preset of galleries. So you've got like uh, circles, you've got little rectangular shapes, um, you've got hover gallery uh, types, and uh, you can always navigate through this little tab right here. So hover, gallery justified, image slides, so you can pick any one of these. Uh, slide full screen, flicker, slideshow, and carousel. Okay, let's go back here. And then you have menu. These are the different types of menus. So if you're working with multiple pages or even an anchor, in this case, this template is working with anchors. So if people click on a button, instead of changing pages, it's going to scroll down all the way to where the anchor is. Let me show you right quick how it is, how it works. So for instance, right here, this is a menu that we were just in, right? So if I right click and let's click configure, go in here, and then you see there's home, home, uh, about us services and such so let's go ahead and click right here and the action action taken is to about us right so if I click it's showing if I, I can send it basically anywhere I want to a page or a web address but in this case is an anchor so if I click anchor then I have the ability to pick and choose which anchor I want it to scroll to in this case was about us which is right here if I, if I pick the service one then it would scroll down all the way to where the services anchor is okay so that's how easy it is to implement this all right let's go back to the other apps we have so we've got buttons images gallery menu and then uh, to add a video is extremely simple let's say i wanted to add a video right here at the top and it's a youtube video all i have to do is just click that uh, let's delete this right here and shift so uh, it doesn't mess up with my shape. Let's delete that and and put it right here. So the button is aligned with the video. Let's go ahead and stretch all the way like that. And then move it up. Right click on the video, configure, and that's where you would add your URL or the YouTube URL. Okay, so you have other configurations right here that you can uh, set it up. If I want to preview, there you have the video playing very very simple okay what else we've got so let's go back there so we've got galleries menu audio and video social media buttons you can integrate with Facebook Twitter uh, Instagram Google Pinterest social bars right so you can add that to your um, website let's go back here and then contact this would be the contact form which is I believe on this one yeah right here this is this would be a contact form so if people want to get in touch with you you would set this up so they have to type in their email their information and write you something this is not connected to an autoresponder okay if you want that to be done then you can always come back in here and go to where it says email marketing if I click that and click 
uh, to add one of these forms, it's going to ask me what uh, email marketing or which autoresponder do you want to connect the opt-in box to. So in this case, we're using Mailing Boss, which is our own autoresponder that you don't pay extra. It's part of the platform. So let's go ahead and click that. It's connecting, and then all, all of a sudden, it pulls up all the different types of uh, lists that I have already created there. So for instance, right here, I want one with two fields that I preset over there. Um, it's going to connect to that list. And once it's connected, for instance, right here, I can just go ahead and configure however I want by clicking, right clicking and just working on the appearance. So you can go ahead and just uh, change things up. For each of these fields, you can change things up right here. Okay, let's go ahead and delete that. All right, so one more thing I want to go over with. So you've got different applications right here. So you've got the email marketing, you've got animated um, little uh, graphs that you can add to and progress bars and let's see what else we've got the checkout process sales funnel blog apps so basically here's where you would go to uh, search through all the different applications and features that you can add to your uh, website so um, you can always always change the app language so if i want this uh, the whole site to be in english all the the different types of uh, configurations then i come in here to the, the little engine icon and then i can change the uh, language that I want to be uh, the primary language. So let's go ahead and click save. Here's also where you would set up the SEO and it's your sitemap. Uh, there's a different uh, settings for your platform. Here's where you would configure the restricted area for your membership site. User management is when you want to manage uh, the users to your private uh, sec secured uh, membership area. And that's where basically where you would come uh, to I don't have anything set up because I don't have a membership site set up yet all right so the beta uh, again this is uh, to set up the payment process so you can start collecting payment and give people access to a membership area that you would create and then you have the beta blog which is also part of the uh, platform that you can create a blog and begin to uh, post anywhere on your website. So I hope you like this video. I wanted to make it short, but at the same time, show you all the different features and the things that you can do with the uh, Builder All platform, which is an amazing platform. It's a complete platform that has all the different tools that you would need to grow your business. So I hope you liked it and there's more videos coming your way. Just pay attention and we'll see you soon.